earlier in the season, uh, we defeated Fort Hayes by 20, and I knew that tonight's game was not going to be anything like that. They've got a lot of different weapons, and uh, they made things very hard on their defensive end, plus uh, offensively they do some very, very nice things. So we had to keep grinding it out and grinding it out, and uh, finally we got the two to four point lead, and then uh, I thought Morgan Fleming's first three was the, the dagger, the big one. We'll take the second one also, but uh, uh, that first one was uh, exciting. Uh, Kelsey Williams uh, wasn't around for the first half, it didn't seem like, and she made three of the biggest shots of the second half. And uh, we always, everybody that plays with her says, Kelsey, please shoot and drive more, shoot and drive more. So uh, she waited until the second half to make it happen. And obviously Paige, our player of the year, did a, a great job of getting us started offensively. And uh, uh, we saw some great openings early and she knocks them down. And, uh, even made one or two free throws at the end of the game, so uh, that was very, very good of it. But um, we're looking forward to uh, playing the winner of this next game. Uh, it should be a nice crowd um, tomorrow, Monday night, uh, depending on who wins. It could be a great crowd, and we're definitely looking forward to it. We've uh, practiced and played all year long and recruited these kids uh, to, uh, to, to win a regional championship. Uh, uh, yes, we would have liked to have done it at home, but uh, we've uh, determined that we're going to have to do it on the road. So we're going to uh, uh, watch this game right now and hopefully figure out a few ways to uh, not turn it over uh, a whole bunch of times. Questions for the student athletes. Paige, you, you go for the first eight points of the game. What was clicking and kind of what was working with the offense side? Um, the rhythm threes really is what worked um the cutting and the just finding the opening really is all i could say that worked for either of you at, at what moment did you feel the momentum shift in that fourth quarter um i wouldn't really i guess morgan's three was pretty big but i would say our energy really picked up the fourth quarter and theirs definitely just dropped um i think that Paige's charge was huge um any player that steps in the way of an offensive player to get that is huge. Um, it gives us an extra position. And then we were just talking about this on the way up here. She's not the greatest rebounder in the world, but she got a heck of a rebound. And I've never seen her jump so high. Um, but I think Kayana made huge plays for us as well. When she steps up, we really dominate. And I think that's what helped us. There's a, a relaxed atmosphere about this group this year, especially in the regionals. What's the difference between last year at this time and this year with this group? Um, I'd say we trust each other a lot more. I mean, we trust each other last year, but like our five that we have out there at a time, like we know each person is going to do what they have to do and what they can do, but not do too much at the same time. I feel like it's um, exactly what Paige said. Trust, accountability. We can all hold each other accountable and move on. Um, I felt like in the MIAA tournament, we lacked that, and so it exposed us, but I feel like it made us stronger as a team, and we're clicking right now and peaking right at the right time. Anything else with student athletes? All right, questions for Coach? Coach, uh, kind of in that final minute, what, uh, what was kind of the message to the group? Well, I tell you one of the most unbelievable things is that uh, at the end of a game, Keanu Lee makes free throws, and uh, uh, we ran a play and didn't get to our guards that we wanted to get it to, and we hit it to Kiana, and she just stepped to the line, and uh, she's put a lot of extra time in this year of uh, up in her game, and she has a confidence now that she never had last year, and uh, I, I, it's amazing how many free throws she's made at the end of the game, so that that was good, and in the last minute, I, I just felt like that uh, we were. You know, Stalin, and unfortunately for Fort Hayes, they fouled with a couple seconds left. That's not what they intended to do, but that's just sometimes what happens at end of games. And uh, we were able to just run the clock out uh, pretty well. Turnovers were kind of the big uh, story when you guys first met. How were you, how were you able to kind of force their offensive hand, so to speak? Well, I, I think our defense has gotten so much better other than uh, – uh, I tell you what, Tatiana with her ISO play that she had, that we didn't really have an answer for that because both Mo and, or excuse me, but Megan and Kayana had some fouls, 
and uh, she took the ball in the hole and uh, didn't. Yeah, was was very good. I forgot the question already, so tell me that question again. <laughs> you had 17 turnovers last time, only forced 12 tonight. Was that a focus? Well, I, they give us some problems because we're a switching team, and so are they. And so there are some things that happen when these switching teams that, that that's why we do it. We think it's a great way to play the game of basketball. And we've got five kids. You saw how many times one of those guys ended up guarding their big. And they exposed us a couple times, but they also had a couple turnovers with it. And so offensively, you just have to be a little bit more patient than we were the first time we played. Going into a, a championship game, what's kind of the what's kind of the rest and and practice schedule like? Oh, well, tomorrow will be a just a short short walkthrough, and uh, you know depending on who wins, uh, it's going to be quite a different walkthrough I think uh, depending on who wins this game, and uh, it'll be basically rest. Paige played forty minutes. Uh, uh, Kelsey had 31 uh, long minutes, and uh, we need to get them off their feet and ready to go, uh, whether it's beating a press or whether it's playing a team that is very, very, very big. Anything else? Coach, what did you say about your uh, bench, especially in the first half when you know, Mo had those two early fouls and you had to sit a couple of the starters? Well, I, you know what? Sid Skaggs comes in, and come, she came in and got behind the defense, and Paige got her the ball, and she – shot faked and, and put it in and it's just tremendous and uh, as a coach you, you hate to put somebody in for just a few seconds at the end of the third quarter like we did we put sit in for Meg to play defense and then kicked her back out and that's the the difference between this group and, and a lot of groups is Sid could care less she did what she had to do she's not going to complain now sis get back in there and uh, let's win this game we good thank you all right thank you